Hi lovelies. If you find yourself in a dinner rut, then this absolutely delicious creamy salmon pasta is here to save the day. It is so tasty, but so easy to make and comes together in under 30 minutes. Just before we get to that, I want to remind you guys that I have lots of amazing eBooks available over on my website, thedomesticgeek.com, including my 30 minute meals eBook, which of course is all about making your weeknight cooking super easy with meals that can be made in under 30 minutes. I hope you love it as much as I do. I've linked all the details in the description box below. Now let's get to our creamy salmon pasta. So the star of this recipe, of course, is our beautiful salmon. I've got four salmon fillets that I've already removed the skin from, and I just wanna season them up really liberally with some salt and some pepper. We're gonna be cooking our salmon fillets first and then flaking them onto our pasta after it's cooked. Now it's safe to say that when it comes to food, often the simplest recipes are the most delicious. And that is most definitely the case with this incredible creamy salmon pasta. So to get started, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil to a nice big skillet on the stove. The oil is what I'm going to cook my salmon in, and of course you don't want your salmon to stick. So you can be a little liberal with your oil so that that salmon <laughs> resists the urge to stick to your pan and flake when you don't want it to. Just as soon as my oil is nice and hot, I'm going to add my salmon to the pan, season side down, and let that cook away until it's just golden. So between say three and four minutes. And then I'll go ahead and season the underside as well. You'll know your salmon's ready to flip when it starts to release easily from the pan. If you sense any resistance at all with your salmon, you definitely wanna leave it as is until it starts to release because otherwise you'll just start to shred your salmon. I'm going to flip it over and allow it to cook for an additional, say, two to three minutes or just until it's nice and light pink and fully cooked through. Also, can we just talk about the amazing golden color this salmon has taken on? Mm, so good. Now it's time to remove my salmon from the pan. I'm gonna transfer it to a clean plate and set it aside while I get to work on making our amazing white wine cream sauce. Trust me, you guys are gonna love this. The first step for this sauce is some butter. So I'm gonna get some butter right into that same skillet and we're going to let that melt, which will happen nice and quick because of course our pan is really hot from that salmon. And as soon as that butter is melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add one chopped shallot as well as some minced garlic. I'm just gonna let those cook away in that butter for maybe 30 seconds to a minute just until they become really nice and fragrant. And then it's time to add some white wine to the skillet. And the white wine really does make a huge difference in the final flavor of this dish. If you don't have white wine or you don't like cooking with wine, you could swap in some seafood broth here instead to get a nice rich flavor happening. But that wine, the shallots and the garlic and all of the rest of this goodness is gonna be so lovely. Now I just wanna let this wine reduce down for about five minutes or so. And that's gonna be the perfect amount of time for cooking up my pasta. Today I'm using fresh pasta because I love the texture of it and it cooks up so quickly. So I'm gonna get my fresh pasta into some boiling water and it should be done within just four or five minutes. You could always use dried if that's what you have on hand, but it does take a little longer to cook, so you'll just want to plan accordingly. Now while that pasta is cooking away, I'm gonna turn my attention back to my sauce. So our white wine is almost completely reduced, and what it's left behind is the most gorgeous aroma. That means it's time to add the rest of our ingredients. So to my pan, I'm gonna add some heavy cream. It's important you're using cream in this recipe as opposed to milk, because you don't want it to split. I'm also gonna go ahead and add some greens to this. So today I've opted for some arugula, that's what I had on hand in my fridge, but you can pretty much use any kind of greens you want. So spinach, a little bit of kale would be fine, some Swiss chard would be fine, but I love arugula because it's got a really nice texture and also this slight peppery flavor that I adore. And I'm just gonna let those heat up together for a minute or two. We wanna give that arugula a chance to sort of wilt down. Then we're gonna season this up liberally with some salt. And finally, I'm gonna add the zest and juice of half a lemon. That lemon just adds this bright citrusy flavor that is the perfect complement to that gorgeous salmon. 
just as soon as that sauce is heated through, it's time to transfer my pasta right into my skillet. I don't even bother draining it in a colander. It saves me some dishes. We're just gonna give our pasta a nice toss so it's well coated in our sauce. And then we can serve it up topped with that amazing salmon. And honestly guys, this is an absolute winner. It's rich and creamy, but as you saw, so simple to prepare. Plus it's ready in less than 30 minutes. So there is a lot to love. I hope you guys will give this one a try. And if you do, don't forget to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. This recipe, like all of my recipes, can be found on healthymealplans.com, our amazing meal planning site that allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and then automatically generates your grocery list for the week. How great is that? Thank you as always so much for watching. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.